I deserve it. So, I guess fire and fury worked. A dramatic statement that they're talking about, Kim Jong-un is actually talking about total denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula. What do you make of that suggestion? This is actually a moment that we, that very few of us thought we'd ever see. The president has uh, agreed that he will meet with Kim Jong-un, and it's, it's difficult to overstate the historic nature of this. John, comb your hair. <laughs> But that's what normal people call good news. But what about morning beaker? Is this a deflection? Of course it's a deflection. <laughs> Tariffs and North Korea, all to distract from a president that didn't go through the proper channels. I'm sorry. <laughs> he, looks, he looks like beaker, that's all I see. And of course, the great Rachel is having a moment. You might think, like, another president in this circumstance, you could imagine a president asking himself or herself, why has no other American president ever agreed to do this? Why has no sitting American president ever met with a leader from North Korea? Why has that never happened in all the decades North Korea has existed as a nation? Why, why hasn't any other president ever done Should I take that to mean that this might be a particularly risky or even an unwise move? Why? Why? <laughs> you know, if it were another president like Obama, you'd be doing cartwheels off a high dive into a swimming pool filled with ambrosia salad. <laughs> so in sum, if you're looking for a summary of the media's response to all this progress, this does it. Now, obviously, it pays to be skeptical about all of this. But, you know, this is something that could only happen under Donald Trump. Kind of reminds me of a movie. In a world of uncertainty, two leaders face off in a war of words that terrified the globe. Rocket Man is on a suicide mission for himself. Kim Jong-un saying, I will surely and definitely tame the mentally deranged U.S. daughter with fire. But when talking trash thaws the ice. North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un has proposed a face-to-face -face meeting with President Trump. One man will prove nukes and stones may break your bones, but words will never hurt you. We'll see what happens. While Democrats shoved billions in cash to tyrants, kissed commie butt in Cuba, and apologized to the world for being awesome. awesome. A man with a plan said, enough. Nude man on a unicorn with a fitness tracker in one hand and a box of Twinkies in the other presents. Donald Trump, Kim Jong-un, and Dirk Benedict as face man. Executive Action 10, put up your nukes. Now playing in select theaters with a special double feature, Nation's Hall Monitor, I Came, I Saw, I Tattled, starring Brian Stelter as Brian Stelter. <laughs> I have a feeling that's going to be a hit. All right. You got to admit, even if you don't like Trump, his effect is hard to deny. So hard that even Vanity Fair, Vanity Fair admits that Donald's strategy is paying off. Fact is, to control crazy, you got to talk crazy, meaning appear ready to do the unthinkable to get enemies to think twice. It's my theory. Sometimes it pays to be the psycho on the block, screaming at clouds and rubbing dog poo in your hair. <laughs> Forever we sat back and watched streets filled with bearded psychos burning our flag in countries run by extremist nutbags who go to them into a froth of fearful rage. But enough about Berkeley. <laughs> <laughs> so we said with North Korea, we'll take your crazy and raise you triple crazy by electing Donald Trump. <laughs> you didn't see that coming, did you? Of course, it's still too soon to rejoice. But what's the media's obsessing, obsession now instead of that? It has raised among many people the speculation that those photographs might be intimate photographs of the President of the United States. And Mika, I will, I'll hope as you conjure an image of that, I'll try to just urge you not to throw up in your mouth. If there are naked pictures of Donald Trump. <laughs> they can go ahead and stay hushed. Talk about body shaming. As if naked pictures of them would be any better. Fact is, after a certain age, we're all old and weird without our clothes on. That's why I don't own a mirror. 
The human body is not designed for wear and tear. It's the worst designed product since the spork. But this stormy story is not sticking with the people, just the media. Why? Because we know Donald. And Donald knows Donald. Even he said he's no role model. Finding out Donald Trump slept with an adult film star is like finding out Mike Pence didn't. <laughs> It's not gonna blow your mind. And besides, a grown man that's attracted to porn stars, welcome to biology. <laughs> anyway, I can see it now. Stormy Daniels, CNN contributor. Of course, the media still can't take a Donald Trump joke, spending days fretting over his comments on the Chinese president having a job for life. The president of the United States seems to approve of the president of China making himself a president for life. And the president seems to be suggesting that he too would like to be a president for life. And we don't know if the American president is making a joke or really means it. Come on, you know he's kidding. You just need something to rail against as unemployment dips to its lowest in 50 years. Or maybe you don't think Trump is kidding. Maybe you think he's dead serious about everything he says. Sounds like you need this. Do you have trouble understanding basic humor? John is great, and she is a great gentleman. He's now president for life. <laughs> president for life. You want to give that a shot someday. Right? Did you hear that? He just praised the Chinese president for getting rid of term limits and said we should too. Dude, it was a joke. No, that is what an evil dictator says. Please help me. Sure thing. You should try Laugh It Off. Sounds dangerous. What is it? Laugh It Off is a spray you apply directly to the face that penetrates all the way to your brain to help you understand when the president is and isn't joking so you can preserve your sanity. My coworker used to scroll through the president's tweets all day and it bummed him out. Then I made him try Laugh It Off. Now look at him. <laughs> Thanks, Laugh It Off, I guess. Do you believe that North Korea's recent willingness to talk is sincere, and to what do you owe this recent uh, openness to talk? Me. <laughs> Nobody got that. Don't worry, Mr. President, I get it. Thanks, Laugh It Off. <laughs> <laughs> so try Laugh It Off today, so you can go from this to this. Side effects may include improving your well view. All right. Let us welcome tonight's guest. Doctor, doctor, give me the news. I got a bad case of love and Drew. Host of the radio show, Dr. Drew Midday Live, Dr. Drew Pinsky. And like a loaf of French bread, she's often half in the bag. Co-host of Dr. Drew Midday Live, Lauren Savon. And her favorite color is death. National Review reporter, Catherine Tim. And he flosses with the transatlantic cable, impact wrestler, and my massive sidekick, Tyrus. All right. Let's go to the expert, the doctor. What do you think of my theory that by, be, by pretending to be unpredictable, or maybe not pretending, but actually being unpredictable, yeah. it, it worked with uh, Kim? Well, if it's your theory, Greg, it must be right. First Thank of all, let's you. start with that. But, but yeah, I just, I just think Trump is very predictable in being unpredictable. I think mm -hmm. he always takes these extreme scary points of view, lets people react to it, creates a lot of chaos, then thrives on it, and then he's driving back towards some place he actually wants to go mm -hmm. using game theory. He uses a pretty good game theoretician, but initially he says he's very, very scary things and goes to these extremes where you think he's losing his mind and lo and behold he reels it back to something where you're happy i don't know everybody talks about game theory and i don't under, it, game theory just means looking at everything like it's a game no no <laughs> it, 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 mean, it means it's a little more complicated than that, right? just a little more all right well you know what next we'll do an entire hour on that uh, sunday nights at nine okay lauren um <laughs> You got to kind of admit that, I mean, he's putting the squeeze on North Korea. This might, I mean, he, look, the guy could be full of crap, uh, the North Korean dictator. So, you know. She knows somebody that knows him. Oh, really? Yeah. Who? Well, 
a friend went to school with Kim Jong Un. Oh, really? Tell me about it. Is he is he is he a rational human being? Is he a rational actor? Well, he was a kid in school. Mm -hmm. He loved his video games. Didn't have many friends. And according to this friend, grunted a lot. Grunted. So he sort of. Wait, like are you gruntist? Because I grunt all the time. Now I am. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but think about that. He's one of those kids just playing video games, sort of withdrawn. Yeah. And that, who's who he's dealing with. And now he's and a now, world leader. And, but it's going to be a one-on-one -on -one sort of negotiation between those two? That, no, that's no, no. A, he's, he, by the way, he sees glass half full with this right. situation. This is, this is why we have Twitter a show. If the Twitter preview is anything to come, yes. they're going to have a measuring contest within 20 minutes of meeting each other. We know that's going to happen. And that's a problem? I don't think that's a problem. You know, um, I do think it's a problem, for the record. You know, Kat, obviously something like this elevates, uh, um, the, 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 I guess, elevates the uh, Kim's st stature in the world by having a world leader meet. Is that a really bad thing, but it's something that has to happen, kind of. See, I was somebody who was not all about the talk of a preemptive nuclear strike. Yeah. <laughs> so I am going to be for the talk about talking. Yes. And yeah, I guess maybe, but it really is the best way to go. What I have seen, though, is so many people who were against the talk of nuclear war. This is going to be a disaster, which I agree with who are now saying, I'm against this talking. <laughs> yes. This is going to be a disaster. So it's like, okay, you're not really concerned about North Korea. You just want to be against whatever Donald Trump is doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think yeah. it's good if it happens. If it happens, I would commend him for it. Yeah. All right, Tyrus. Um, from your experience as a professional wrestler, uh, <laughs> I believe that you might be the expert in this face-off. I mean, they're kind of like professional wrestlers. You got the little scary kid, and you got the big hulking guy. I Which one's the big hulking guy? I, I don't know anymore. <laughs> we'll give it to Donald. He's taller. Mr. President's taller. You know what? <laughs> Let's forget all that. Let's say yeah. they meet, and Donald Trump denuclearizes North Korea. Mm -hmm. So he gets the Nobel Peace Prize, right? Right, yeah. I think so. But he probably won't. No, they're gonna give it to they're gonna give it to Obama. Again. Again. <laughs> but can you just imagine yeah. CNN having to report that? Yeah. <laughs> I guarantee you they will be doing opiates live on <laughs> CNN. Yeah. They will need laugh it off. Yeah, it's definitely I mean, I, I think He's going to talk to him. He's going to, and I think it probably will happen. I think it's the, the alternative is worse for North Korea because those sanctions are really hurting them. They're yeah. hurting him. His federal reserves almost out. That's his money. Yeah, yeah. He's losing his money, and, and also they're targeting companies, and uh, he's looking for a way out. And this might be a way out. But again, you can't trust. You can't trust a guy like that. You got to, you know. But you, but you trust can. But you can. The world we live in now, people get political advice from a wrestler. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> a, real, a real estate mogul is our president, and yeah. the voice of reason and virtue is, is a porn star. So, I mean, <laughs> why not? All right. That's a positive note to end it's this segment It's great. We've made it. We have. We have made it. Coming up, the Golden State makes the DOJ irate. That's next.